Queens of Dwarka, and when the Queens of Dwarka saw Radha for the first time, what happened? The Queens of Dwarka faint. Now perhaps we can't really describe the beauty of Radha and the Gopis, but we can get an indication by what happened to the Queens of Dwarka. They fainted upon seeing the beauty of Radha in the book. So today we're not going to be so adventurous. We're not going to go so high. But we want to talk about one elephant that may be in the room. I want to address this to you all with my heart. What is the Gaudiya Mat? What is it? We shouldn't think that the Gaudiya Mat is some religious sect. Gaudiya Mat is the concept of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur himself. It's his concept. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. We're making some offenses when we are thinking, oh, this one, this one. You can't imagine how great these personalities are. Personalities like Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Deva Swami Maharaj, both of Puri Maharaj. They came from the upper world to assist Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, to assist him. Our Srila Prabhupada, he came to the West, and for 12 years he preached, but 11 of those years he spent clearing the jungle of misconception. He told us, you're not this body. 10 years, 11 years, that's, he harped on this point. You're not the body. But these assistants of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, to think them less, to think ill of them, this is a big, big mistake in our spiritual life. Big mistake. We have made mistakes. We were talking earlier. We appointed some gurus. Who, they were not guru. They were not guru. Guru cannot fall down. They were never guru. Never. Guru is heavy. He cannot be. He cannot fall down. <laughs> this is insane. Guru cannot fall down. Today, this Leela Kata is talking about Krishna can take us to the upper world. Our first hearing about Krishna from the proper source, the first time we hear about Krishna from the right source, this is the day that we begin to experience reality. Reality. So what is Krishna consciousness? What is it? Krishna consciousness is the celebration of Sri Mati Radharani's heart. That's what it is. It's the celebration of her heart. 
And that celebration, that heart, overwhelmed Krishna and turned him into Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu. <laughs> Do we understand this? God, God himself became a devotee of himself. This is devotion. These Mahatmas, uh, these yogis of devotion, <coughs> yogis of devotion. By this yoga of devotion, we can go home and associate with the Sakis and the Sarans. Hmm? One very important verse in Bhagavad Gita, 8.15, 8th chapter, 15th verse, anyone know it? No one knows it? 8.15? Not on the top of, huh? not on top of my head. Uh -huh. Nobody, I cannot even read this. No, you know. No. Hmm? In this verse, 815, this should be on the epitaph of everyone in the material world. It should be on their grave marker. Yeah? This Dukalaya Asashvatam. Dukalaya, this is this world. When you hear this word, do, <coughs> D-U, before any other word, be careful. It means danger. This Dukalaya Ashvatam. That's this world full of Dukalaya. Sorrow and misery. Weal and woe. Hmm? And then these Mahatmas, these uh, yogis of devotion. They'll not come back. They'll not take birth again in this world. This is our opportunity. We hear this kata, and we can go home. In 10th chapter of Srimad uh, Bhagavatam, we hear the gopis, they're singing Gopi Geet. And in the ninth verse of Gopi Geet, Tava katam ritam tapta jivanam tava bia editam kalma sapaha shavanam mangalam shimaratatam buvi garnanti ye buri dojana tava katam ritam by speaking this ambrosia, this nectar. Oh, Krishna's activities, the jiva can go home. Tava katam ritam, tapta jiva. Tava bia iritam, kalma sapaha, shavanam mangalam. This auspicious hearing about what? Krishna's activities. We can go home back to Godhead. Right now, we are in the material world. What is the material world? We hear this word, oh, it's a prison house. But it is. We are members of the penal colony. That's what we are here. We're fallen jivas, sinful jivas, full of nasty things. Lust, greed, envy, jealousy. So many nasty things. Unqualified to be with Krishna. But we can become qualified and we can go. 
had such an opportunity, great opportunity. So we don't want to, on our journey home, we don't want to commit these monster offenses. Sometimes some institutions, they're encouraging us to look down upon other institutions. We should always remember that these are lovers of Mahaprabhu. And to think ill of them or to be offensive to anyone who is in Mahaprabhu's line, how, how you will ever escape such a sin, such a sinful, even the idea of it is disgusting. There are followers of Mahaprabhu, lovers of Mahaprabhu. So I have a very small screen. You won't be able to see. Seeing is not as important as? Hearing. So today I want you all to listen to something very important just for a few minutes. This is a recording, a video of our Radhanath Swami. And I applaud him because this must have been a little difficult for him to do, but he did it. So 